traveling to Volskaya Industries. Here I'm five, and here we are on Volskaya Industries. We're going to start by looking at attacking point A, and I'm just running through a basic opener, uh, one of three that I'm going to be showing you, where we clear the opening high ground by grappling out a spawn, and then we're going to drop to cover, and then rotate to more cover that actually lets us sort of peek onto the point and scout the enemy composition a bit. This isolated high ground we're next to is what teams will commonly refer to as an island, and as Paul we're really interested in playing up here, since it activates our pile driver, gives us lots of visibility, and we can take 1v1 of any kind of off-angle DPS that wants to play there. It's really important to get comfortable getting up here, and now I'm going to go through the other two openers to try to get you control of this island as well. I find leaving through the left spawn door helps me land my grapple on the corner of the building here, and then a carefully timed jump is going to take me right onto the island. Our third opener comes from Harblue, and we're going to be grappling the top right corner of this middle window on the edge here. This takes us up onto the roof and behind the enemy team, where we can take the stairs up to this top left high ground and then clear the island with our grapple active. It's pretty common for the tank line to be holding on the left here, and I like booping them forwards into my team and then pile driving. I think minefielding off the mega can be really strong, and forces the tank line to play out in the open while the supports are stuck inside. There's some real carry potential with environmental kills on this map, so keep an eye out for people playing in the corridor near the mega, or on the wall on the left side of point, since being able to take point A without using ults puts you in a great position to snowball point B. This is where your ball pick can get really difficult to work with, and without being much of a proactive play in of itself, making an effort to control this top right high ground can go a long way in keeping your team alive. As far as creating your own win conditions here though, I've had the most success going behind onto this bridge behind point. We can start 1v1ing Anna's or Batiste here, and this position sets up nicely for going onto point with a minefield. It's also completely realistic to try and boot half the team off the map here, so keep an eye out for anyone playing near the coast. I don't recommend taking this left flank along the ground, but you can pile drive on this ledge by clipping into it. Finally, it's worth knowing that you can grapple off the map and around this wall to get behind. This can take you right to that bridge with the supports playing on it, where we can look to take attention or get a kill. When it comes to defending on this map with ball, I want you to make friends with this orange box on the island from before. This shape works great as cover, and from this spot we can be telling our team where the enemy team's pushing, and look for big pile drivers if they're playing as a group, or wrap around and confront anyone that tries to take a position by themselves. We don't want to let a soldier or a widow sit up here uncontested. For your minefield, I recommend trying to use mines on a backline of a team that's trying to take a fight on either side of the island. I think using mines to split a team and cut off their means of escape is much more valuable than just dumping them on the objective. When a fight is taking place on the point, be sure to make use of these props as cover. You can sit here to wait for your cooldowns to come back and also to activate your pile driver from. When you do come out on top in a fight, don't be afraid to push up and look for kills. Whether these are players that are just leaving the fight that was lost, or oblivious players walking out of spawn, we can often find 1v1s here, and if we can't take the fight you can retreat to this high ground for safety. Defending B on this map is when I find ball the hardest, but I'll generally try and keep the top left high ground contested, and try to save my mines for either on point or as they try to push main. I like sitting on the top left here and you can peek along this long sight line down into spawn, and this sets up nicely for some pile drivers as they try to walk main or take the high ground. You want to make sure you're comfortable with where all the health packs are and pathing between them, and use the safety they give you to chase additional kills after your team gets picks. Like any 2CP map, ball becomes somewhat of a must pick for recontesting the point after losing a teamfight, so it's definitely worth spending some time getting comfortable with the rollouts from spawn to the point. As ugly as it might be, hitting the rollout and timing your adaptive shields well can completely change the outcome of a game. And just as a final note, both of the points on this map can be grappled to if you aim for the right places. You want to aim for vertical faces, not the horizontal ones. 